Hi everybody, Bionic Dance here. This is kind of an addendum to my last video, but before I get directly into the point, I'm going to spin a couple of tales for you. Suppose you're in a long-term relationship with somebody, and suppose the two of you have children, and you decide to split up. Who gets custody of the kids? You're not married. There is no legal precedent for which one of you gets to keep those children. So what happens? How do you determine that? <sighs> kind of a minefield, isn't it? Now, let's suppose, instead, you're still together. Ignore children altogether, but you're still together and there's an accident. Or perhaps one of you happens to have some sort of internal trouble, but for whatever reason, one of you ends up in the hospital. And the other would like to visit. But they don't let you in, you know why? Because only those who are legally married to each other get to have visitation rights. Kind of a problem, isn't it? Or let's suppose you manage to stay together your entire lives, and then one of you cacks it, one of you dies. But sure enough, left a will, and left everything, everything to the significant other. But you were never married, and the, the one who died, their family challenges that will. And because there's legal precedent for challenging wills like that, when the other side is not actually legally married, well, you end up losing all of that inheritance, where before, had you been married, you would have actually gotten all that stuff, no questions asked. You see where the problems are coming in here? If you're not actually legally married to somebody, well, there's all kinds of legal precedent for you losing out on a lot of really important things. But every time the gay marriage issue comes up, there are people who will say, I don't think the government should be involved in marriage at all. Not even slightly. Not even when it comes to straight marriage. Screw this whole gay marriage thing. The government should not be involved in homosexual marriage, heterosexual marriage, or any other flavor of marriage at all, not even slightly. But if we did that, do you realize how much else it would screw up? I'm sorry, I understand your motivation, and I, I, I sympathize with it, I actually do. And I kind of agree, it would be nice if we could get the government out of marriage. But unfortunately, it's so embroiled, so entangled, there's no way to do it without creating a shitstorm of other legal issues. You just can't do it. So if you're one of those folks who wants to say we should just get the government out of marriage entirely, I sympathize. I do. Okay, I'm not being sarcastic. I realize it's really hard to say something like that without sounding like you're, you're patronizing people, and I'm not. I understand your motivation, and I kind of wish that, that we could do that, but we can't. It's just not practical. It's not feasible. And I wish that we could, could you know, realize your vision of, of a, a government-free, a, a legality-free marriage system. That would actually be kind of cool, but we can't. We, we just, we can't. It's not workable. So since we can't, we're going to have to work with what we have. And we're going to have to find a way to keep heterosexual marriage and get uh, homosexual marriage and make it workable. We, we have to find a way to do that within the legal marriage system we have so that we can have things like inheritance rights, child custody rights, hospital visitation rights, and all of the other things. I mean, someone actually said there's like, what is it, 700, 7,000, some crazy huge number of rights and responsibilities that come with legal marriage. And every last one of them is so closely tied with our legal system that we just cannot extract marriage out of the law. We cannot do it. So if, if the next time you see a, a pro or even anti-gay marriage rant from somebody, please don't say we should get the government out of marriage. 
because seriously, you're wasting everybody's time. I, I, I understand your motivation, like I say, but it can't be done. Thank you. Please take the time to rate this video. And hey, if you dig what I do, subscribe. And please visit my Sazzle store, where you'll find all kinds of Bionic Dance merchandise. People not subscribing to Bionic Dance is one sign of the apocalypse. Save us all! Subscribe now!